What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, alrighty, so we've been waiting for this moment for quite some time, guys. The moment we dethrone Leon, rub it in the face of Hop, and just become the champion of another region. Yes, the Gallo region. Now, in our last episode, we went through a nice sequence of events. Now, I, again, I can't get over the fact on how these legendary battles or how the legendary battle just took place and all that stuff. We took on a very, very strong legendary Pokemon. Uh, it disabled any of our moves, and then we got to meet two of the coolest uh, legendary Pokemon of Galar and all that crud. And yeah, just watch the last episode, guys. I was uh, I'm so hyped about that. Now here we are in back into the Pokemon League, back in Winden, and this is finally you know the time. The last time we tried to take on Leon, it got interfered, or there was interference because of uh, you know. Macro, Cosmo, Rose, and all that stuff, and well, it's all over. It's finally time. Now, Leon is no pushover. He does have that Charizard. He does have a Charizard that is just crazy strong. Uh, and I, I, I gotta say, I was looking for an excuse to why I overtrained my Pokemon, and it's because of Leon. Now, the first time I've ever taken on Leon, yeah, that Charizard nearly whooped the you-know-what out of me. So... I'm thinking that in this one right here, I'm going to have my way with these guys. So let's just move on and finally have our way with this whole Galar League Championship and whatnot. So as you can see, everybody's just clapping for us. It's like, at last, the final match! Challenger Draven! Yes, the public already notices that, well, this is going to be uh, one for the ages right here. Now, if only I knew where I was going, then, uh, yeah, we could uh, we could get this whole thing on our way. Uh, let's see. Where do we go? Damn it! Where's the stadium? Okay, screw it. Let's go to the to this guy right here and tell, and ask him where the stadium is at because this is ridiculous. Okay, Kaka. Let's see. I want to go to Wyndham, but you've got to come uh, flying taxi, Governor. Where do you like to go? Uh, Wyndham Stadium. There we go. Look at that. You got to Gov. Let's go. Let's get moving, Cover Knight. Can't even do a British accent, but this is pretty awesome right here. All right, Gov. We're here. Just come at me if you need to ride again. Crow Crow. Okay, so here it is, guys. We are finally at the Winning Stadium, and well, our public is waiting for us now. There is a little bit of something that I need to check up on first, and that is the amount of items that I have. The healing items, I should say. I got plenty of Hyper Potions. Uh, full Restore. Uh, max Revives. Okay, so what I need to have is a... What I need to actually get is uh, full restores if they actually do sell them because, uh, yeah, that right there, I do have a feeling that, you know, we're going to get screwed over with the whole move sets and stuff. So let's see. Oh, yes, look at that. Max re or full restores. This will actually eliminate the whole status and stuff. So let's go ahead and buy a bunch of them, 21 of them. And, well, let's see. What are you selling, homie? Oh, look at that. Ice Punch. Thunder Punch. You know what? I'm going to buy all three. I'm going to be uh, spending my money on a lot of these things, okay? Now that I have plenty of it. Look at that. We got that. And Solar Blade is another good move that we can actually use right there. Everything else, yeah, we're just going to keep that right there, okay? So, let's see. Charizard, you know him, you love him. It has a Gigantamax form, and it is going to wreck us if we're not properly prepared. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and organize our stuff just a tad. Let's go with number. And, well, Blitzkrieg can actually learn can learn Fire Punch or Thunder Punch. And I kind of want to use Thunder Punch just for that reason. Let's see. It's physical attack is right there on par with its special attack. So, let's go right ahead and I kind of want to take away poison jab just for this just for this one one situation. You know what? I'm going to take away poison jab just for this situation. I do have toxic. So that right there will actually help us and there's that solar blade that I kind of want to use. Let's see. Solar blade, you can actually teach it to Quack or or to Optimus Prime. Let's see. Quack or... Actually, hold on. Let me take a look at this. It's a two-turn attack. The user gathers lights and fills a blade with the energy. Okay, so it's kind of like Solar Beam, except that, you know, 
it's whatever. So I'm not going to use that for right now. I just bought that because, yeah, I just want to buy that. And, well, let's see. There's an ice punch right here. Nobody can learn that. I'm just being, I'm just getting prepared for the, uh, for what's going to go on right here, guys. So let's see. Actually, you know what? I think I'm ready. That's the only thing we needed to, to change up. Okay, so now it is finally time. Let's go straight into the stadium. The final showdown. This is so exciting. I'm cheering for both of you. Show us a good match. Okay. Look at that. Everybody's just waiting for us. Okay. All righty. So here it is, guys. We're finally going into the stadium, and we just need to, you know, talk to this guy. This is the final match against the champion, the championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? Oh, yes. Then change into your uniform and head out into the pitch. So there it is, guys. Going into the pitch right here. Okay, so we've waited a long, long time, and everybody's cheering for us. It is a mixed crowd. It is like WrestleMania 18. Hulk Hogan versus The Rock. Except, well, I do have the good looks of The Rock. Not really. <laughs> Here it is, guys. We're entering the stadium, and it is finally time to take on this guy right here, the wannabe Batman. Now, let's just hope nothing interferes in this whole situation. Hmm. He's just looking around. My matches are always sold out, but this. I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Draven. They know you are the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Gal region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazena. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I possess or now that I've uh, I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of, of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Draven! Let's make this a final match that will go down in Galar's history. No, a match that will change Galar forever. We're going to have an absolute champion time. Oh, damn. Okay. He's calling me out. Bring it on, homeboy. I am going to crush you just like I did your brother. So here it is. The final battle. No interference against champion Leon. Come on, man, throw your cape. You gotta throw your cape. Every champion has a cape. He throws his cape! Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that's awesome. He threw his cape just like freaking Bison. So here it is, he's coming out with a strong Aegislash Pokemon. It's one of my duties as a champion to get the crowd fired up. Alrighty, so here it is. Let's go ahead and just destroy his team. And, of course, Aegislash is a little fast. He's going to be using King's Shield. He is protecting himself. Nothing happens right here. And, well, just like that, we lose a little bit of attack right here. So let's go ahead and use a Fire Slash or Fire Lash. And this one right here will take Aegislash's attack a little bit. Super effective hit. I, didn't, I wouldn't expect anything less. And because of that... Its defense has gone down, but here comes the cha the stance change, so it's ready to attack right here. Well, here comes a Shadow Ball, a Dark Kamehameha attack, and BAM! Hits us. Here we go, Fire Lash again, and of course, he's going to be coming out with a full restore. He will not let his Pokemon go down that easily. So let's go, Fire Lash for the win. There goes Aegis Slash. What now, homie? What now? A critical hit. <laughs> Pretty good challenger. Well, look at that. Say goodbye to Aegislash. And look at this. My Pokemon are growing levels again. And, well, he's about to come out with a Seismic Toad. That Pokemon right there is going to be a tough one. But we do have the remedy for this. We got Optimus Prime. So let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this Pokemon with a little Optimus Prime. Super Saiyan 3 Optimus Prime. So here comes a Seismitoad, both a ground and water type Pokemon. And well, what is what is what is he gonna say? Nothing. Let's go a drums a beating. Here we go. Bam, 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 bam. 
And that is quadruple damage. Is it unfair that we are way too over leveled? We're like about 15 to 20 levels over leveled against this guy. No, it's not. It is not. It is uh, well deserved. So here he's going to be coming out with the Pokemon he took from the beginning, Cinderace. Let's go ahead and switch out this Pokemon right here. Let's go with Michelangelo. Now, if you guys remember in the very first episode, we had to choose a starter Pokemon. Normally, there's one left. In this, in this whole walkthrough, this whole game right here, obviously, the champion takes the Pokemon that hasn't been chosen. Look at it. It's fully evolved. Now, in Pokemon Shield, I believe he comes out with a Rillaboom, which, is, well, it is true, since I did choose uh, Inteleon. So let's go with a liquidation attack. This guy coming with his acrobatics. That right there is a little, uh, well, it's ineffective. So here comes a liquidation attack right here. And it does it. Cinderace is no more. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. More experience points. And, well, he's about to come out with a Haxorus. Been waiting for him. Let's go with a Dumbledore now. We probably will take a few hits since Dumbledore is slow, but it's okay. Dumbledore will kick some ass and take some names right here. So here comes Haxorus. Now we do have one of our own right here. And let's just say it is a very, very strong physical attacker. So the best way to go after this guy is an Ice-type Pokemon or, you know, a Fairy-type Pokemon. So here comes Iron Tail. We've avoided that attack, so here comes the Dazzling Gleam. And that takes care of Haxorus. Now, that was the main threat right there. Now we got to take on another Pokemon right here. Look at this. Blitzkrieg grows to level 81. Who's next? Dragapult. Now, this is a Pokemon... This is a Pokemon that we, we have never faced before. And for the first time right here, we're going to take a look at this guy. And this guy is a pretty strong one. It is both a ghost and dragon type Pokemon. Best way to defeat it, fairy type Pokemon. So here comes a Shadow Ball from Dragapult. And that hits us pretty hard. So he's like, aiming for the super effective hit is a surefire way to claim victory. Okay, whatever you say, homie. Dazzling Gleam for the win. Say goodbye to Dragapult. Oh, yeah. And look at this. Michelangelo grows to level 84. And he's about to come out with Charizard. Now, I knew that th this it would come to this. But there is probably a darn good reason why Michelangelo is the strongest of my Pokemon. Because it was fate. Let's go. Michelangelo, switch him out. It is both a rock and, and a and water type Pokemon. Quadruple damage. And what we're going to face right now is probably going to be one of the toughest Dynamax Pokemon ever. I'm not finished having a champion time here. So here he comes out with his good old Charizard at level 65. Alrighty, it's time. Dynamax, Max Rockfall. Charizard right here in Dynamax form does have a very, very good move, and that is G-Max Wildfire. It will continually uh, continually deal damage on a non-Fire-type Pokemon with every turn. So here it is. Look at that. Dynamax Michelangelo ready to go. Okay, come on. I'm doing, I'm doing the Joey Chin right now. I'll show you what Charizard can really do in Gigantamax time. Here it is, doing his his usual pose. Look at that. So he's about to grow. Grow! Grow! And look at that. And I, wow, and I thought Mega Evolution Charizard was pretty awesome. This one right here is it's pretty scary. So here comes a max rock fall, quadruple damage to this Pokemon. And there we go. <laughs> Rocked you! No pun intended. And there goes Charizard. I ended you! Gattaca! Look at that. Just like his brother, I whooped the living you know what out of this guy. I smacked him! There we go. And Michelangelo is looking pretty legit right there. Roaring, and he's like. Throws his hat. 
Man, you 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 gotta you you gotta always have a pose, don't you? My time as champion is over. But what a champion time it's been! Thank you for all the greatest battles I've ever or thank you for one of the greatest battles I've ever had. Look at that guys. That's right. A champion time. Well, look at this. Returns his Pokemon and wow. Everybody's clapping and of course Leon, he's like, congratulations Draven. You beat the unbeatable champion and making you the champion of this new, of, of this region. You become a first rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. Look at that. That's the face of a champion. And now you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now in the sake of what's to come. And you, Draven, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep blasting ahead. In order to create the bright future for all we all hope to see. Look at that, they're all jelly. All jelly because uh, your boy Dra Draven has become the champion. A new legend is born right before your eyes, your champion Draven. <laughs> I will rule with an iron fist. And of course, I'm not even reading this one, but I'm just still laughing. Let's see, watch what he can do. Raise my hand, homeboy. Championship belt and all. Le champion. Woo, okay, so. Here it is, guys, uh, the outro for your homeboy, Draven. So, it's taken us quite some time to actually finish this whole thing down, guys. And I, and I, and I do apologize if it, it's taken me quite a while. But like many of you guys already know, football season has come. And as I am recording this, I am on my final week of football season for high school. And, well, I am looking forward to... The month of May so the plan is that I am going to take a small break from this this game in general mainly because there is an after game after this I need to do a lot of stuff but there's other there's something else that we need to actually take care of if you guys haven't remembered I I can now go into the uh, Alola region so what is going to happen within the next week or so is that we will be going into the Alola region Pokemon Moon and uh, we're going to be spending our time right there for hopefully a month or two. Uh, I'm not completely giving up on this game right now. There are other things that we still need to do but the thing is uh, this is actually going to give me time to finish up or to actually finish up doing the whole uh, Isle of Armor and uh, the Crown Tundra. I've never gone on to that. I need to get in there to actually know what's what's in that place. That way I don't go blindly into the whole, uh, into the whole adventure right there. So just give me a month or two, guys, and we will be back in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, with that being said, I am actually very, very proud that this walkthrough came to be. Holy crud. Holy crud. What an adventure and what a surprise for all of us. Now, hopefully by the time this whole walkthrough comes out, or this episode comes out, we will be closer and closer to 9,000 subscribers. Uh, it has been a full year, guys, since this whole pandemic has started, and you know what? We've gone through it, and you guys have seen a, a plethora of walkthroughs here on my channel. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching all my walk walkthroughs. Thank you guys for all the support, uh, for the haters, too. Thank you for the, the views, too. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue on right here, guys. Now, when will Pokemon Sun and Moon come out? I want to say the second week of May. The second week of May. I have already started a video uh, uh, doing the, well, doing the editing, doing the, the voiceovers and all that stuff of Pokemon Sun and Moon. You will be seeing the first few episodes within the second week of, uh, of May. From there, hopefully we get, I don't know, halfway through or maybe... All the way through by the end of uh, by the end of June, and I kind of want to say by the time we hit my 31st birthday, guys, my 31st birthday, yes, my holy crud, 
30 30 now we're about to turn 31 this year holy crap i want to say by the time we get to my 31st birthday we will be back right here in pokemon sword and shield we will be doing the uh champion edition or the champion uh adventure which yes there will be two uh two different sides to it all you know going in pokemon sword and shield and then from there the crown tundra and the isle of uh of armor uh, other than that, guys, I, I I can't say how proud I am of this walkthrough. I can't say how proud, how happy I am that you know you guys have supported me and through all those this all this stuff right here. So stay tuned for everything else. As promised, Pokemon Snap will be coming out more often. We will finish that by the time. Uh, well, we'll 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 finish that in due time, and then the new Pokemon Snap will be coming out too. So again, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.